It's, it's, and honestly, it's getting almost fun for me to do this. Yeah. My channel, I've always said that my channel is very fluid. It's organic. It grows. It evolves. Anybody remember in Avengers 2, Age of Ultron, right? Ultron's talking to Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. And he does that monologue about uh, that every so often there's a cataclysmic event. And when the dust settles, you know, whatever the fuck, whenever the dust settles, God chucks a rock at the earth again. And he's fucking winding up. Like, I just think every once in a while, just for mental health, I'm an entertainer. I've always been an entertainer. When I was a little kid, I was one of those performing little kids. I always did things, you know, whatever, and all this stuff. And I've always been an entertainer. When I was in high school, I was in show choir and stuff like that, musicals. I love entertaining. Like, there's a certain satisfaction that comes with planning out a project executing the project and then you know you're the first person that gets to see what everybody else is about to see and it's very cool to then put that out and then get feedback as to you know whether or not people enjoyed it it's it there's a, it's just it's a feeling unlike any other and obviously I've made attachments with people doing this channel I, I man I was at the point this morning where I was like, fuck it, I just don't even care. And I was ready to just quit. <laughs> but then I started thinking about people in the audience. People that I've met over the years. People I've gotten to know. People that I've helped. People that have helped me. And I'm like, I can't. I can't. I can't do that. So, <clears throat> I'm not quitting. <laughs> I'm just not doing, I'm not, I can't do the politics anymore. I just can't do it. Um... I will still talk politics. It's not, I'm never going to fucking talk politics again. No. Things that are going on right now are extremely important to the fucking future of our society. And so I still want to have my voice. It's just, I don't, I don't know. I can't fucking take the horse shit that comes with doing it on YouTube. It's too restrictive. It's too fucking bullshit. So, from here on out, I have a Discord channel that a viewer was kind enough to start for me. And things are going pretty damn well on it. Uh, I like getting in there and chatting with everybody. I do it a lot. And so, on the Discord, there is a politics channel wherein we talk politics. I'm still going to talk politics in the Discord. So if you want to get in the Discord, if something happens and you want my take on it, get in the Discord. And say, hey, Andy, fuck. And I'll be like, uh, oh. and I'll tell you. Because I'm not, it's, you know, I'm, I'm not doing political stuff on YouTube anymore. But I'm still going to, like, watch Gutfeld because <laughs> it's fun. And I'm still going to listen to Fox because it's fun to just scream at my radio in the car on the way to work. You know what I mean? Like, I can have fun with it then because I'm, I'm, I'm not thinking about the response I'm going to get afterwards. You know what I mean? It's just, uh, it's just fucking exhausting. So, you know, this, for those of you who've been around for a while, this has happened before. Many times, actually. Like, it's kind of like the Earth, my channel. <laughs> there have been many cataclysmic events, right? And today, I threw the rock. Or oh, yesterday. Yesterday, I threw the rock. I'm filming this the same day, because I just I got to get it out of my head. But yesterday, I threw the rock. Today, the dust is settling. What is left 
you know? First, this channel was a podcast channel, me and my dude. Really, it was just a way for me to get away from my girlfriend at the time for a whole day, once a week. That's seriously what it was. <laughs> and then, I didn't really do much of anything, so I decided to start doing gaming. I chucked a rock. Gaming is just so saturated, and I hate doing it. I found out that I fucking hate performing me playing video games. I fucking despise every second of most of those games that I did. Like, if you go back in my channel, like, if you go back in my channel and look at things chronologically, first of all, it's going to take you forever. I got thousands of videos. But if you get back, if you do look at that shit, at the beginning when I'm doing like lollipop chainsaw and shit like that, man, I was having so much fun with it just because it was fun to, you know, film, edit, and post videos. I was just having a fucking blast doing it. And you can tell at a point that I'm not into the work anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it's just no reward, lots and lots of work. So, chuck a rock at it. And that rock, man, that was a, there was a long ice age and everything was just extinct here for months. And then the election hit. And I said, fuck my job. I'm quitting and taking time off. I'm going to retire for as long as my retirement will last, <laughs> which was 10 months. And I decided I was going to reinvent myself. So I started watching a lot of YouTube, just looking for ideas, anything. And I started watching people like Undoomed, Bearing and shit like that, because I was way into the election, because I've always been into politics. And <laughs> once upon a time, it was fun to talk politics, you know? Like, there was an understanding of what was real and what was not. And we don't have that anymore. It's not funny anymore. So, Chuck and Rock. Right? Now, Barren Wasteland. Ah, But don't think of it like a barren wasteland. Think of it like an anthill. <laughs> right? To quote Maynard. Don't believe the hype, dum-dums. We're in this together, right? And the channel has become sick. It's become angry and sad and disappointed and disappointing and just... Ugh. The channel's sick. We need to figure out a way to breathe new life in the channel. I hate this. I hate doing this. So, got to do something I love. What's another one of my things that I love? Well, I didn't finish the ant anthill. Wait, I got to go into the anthill thing first. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Think of it like an anthill. <laughs> We're in this together, right? So, I'm an entertainer. I'm going to entertain you guys, right? When the anthill gets kicked over, what happens? All the ants to get together, rebuild the anthill, right? Once upon a time, we had cricket parts, and they were flowing merrily into the fucking anthill, and we were all eating, and it was great. And then, I got pissed, and I kicked over the fucking anthill. Now, we rebuild the anthill, right? New ideas, new things going on in the old noggin. I've already got ideas for what I want to do. I've got a couple of documentaries I want to make. Um, I've got some, like, joke videos I want to do. Um, fun stuff. Like, I want to get back into fun stuff. I want to get back into, like, game reviews and movie reviews and that kind of stuff. Fun shit. You know, things that didn't just, just make us all pissed at each other. Stuff that'll be cool, stuff that'll be fun, stuff that we can all kind of enjoy together. Let's let's fucking get back to that. You want to know maybe a way that we unify and come together as a country? Maybe what we do is we stop talking about politics. Like, 
we've been so mother fucking saturated with it for so it's not natural four years straight every god 24 7 no and now what is it turning into biden 24 7 ah oh. I, I fucking can't and it's gonna be one year of man biden's really fucking everything up or yeah biden's fucking amazing depending on which reality you live in and then it's gonna be another year of campaigning oh dude fuck no man none of us should be going through this shit we shouldn't be. We shouldn't be. It shouldn't be as fucking important. You know what's funny? How do you tell when shit's working? You don't. Because you don't notice. Did you know that your computer's working right now? Think about it. Seriously, think about it. What is in that machine that you're watching me on? Whatever it is. TV, phone, computer, don't care. Think about what went into that. How all the parts got made. How it got put. It didn't fall out of the fucking sky. It <laughs> land in your fucking lap. And I just popped on it. The amount of effort that went into every. The amount of effort that just went into me making these videos for you. The camera. My computer. All, all that shit. Right? It all fucking comes from somewhere. It's interlinking. I don't know where I'm going with this shit. I'm. I've, Fucking lost my train of thought. Anyways. We're going to get big fat cricket parts again. And it's going to be fun. And. The big. Huge. Announcement. Big huge. Thing. That I want to do. That I really think. Is going to be a lot of fun. For a lot of people. And some of you might not be entirely entrenched in the cult of personality. You have to understand how YouTube works. It's a cult of personality. How many other political channels are there on YouTube? Millions? So yeah, why are you watching me? Me. <laughs> I'm still going to be me. I'm just going to be doing something else. So if you're just here straight for the political analysis, Go to the Discord if you really need it from me. Because that's the only place you're going to fucking get it. Ask me your questions. What's going on with this? What do you think of this? I'll be more than happy to talk to you. If you're interested, it's like, it's like addiction. I can't force you to recover. You got to want it. And that's how we're going to do it from now on. You got to come to me. You want to know what I think about things? Psh, I'm on Discord. In the Discord, we have a political talk channel. Enjoy. Jump in there. Ask your questions. I'll answer them. Other people will talk. We'll go back and forth. We'll be able to have a conversation right fucking then and there that can last however long it takes to fucking have the conversation. That's a great thing about just posting forums. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I, I like that better. If I'm going to do political stuff, it's going to be on there. But, big announcement. One thing that I really love to do. I like to create stories. I like to make up stories. I've done it all my life. I don't know if I've shown you guys this before. I'm wearing pants. I'm wearing pants. If you have children, like, fucking, now people are letting their kids watch me. It's fucking, I have pants on. It's all good. <laughs> look, look. Check this shit out. Uh, I'm actually really, really wicked proud of this. All right. I'm an insomniac. Been an insomniac my whole life. And I found that I am oft times my most creative when I can't sleep. One night couldn't sleep. I was in, it doesn't say, 1992. 
I'd have been 12. So whatever the fuck age I was, or whatever, wherever I was at in school when I was 12. And I was trying to sleep, couldn't sleep. And I thought to myself, oh shit, I have to write my Halloween story for the stupid writing contest. So I grabbed my notebook and a pen and I sat next to my nightlight <laughs> and I wrote, I don't know, it was like a three or four page story and it was like looking back at it, it's awful. But, you know, I was whatever, 1992. So, um, I won second place in the creative writing uh, contest division C short story I'm gonna cover up <laughs> I'm gonna cover up the name of the fucking uh, city <laughs> but yeah fucking my second place trophy BAM right and a little yeah meh. creative writing I like I like making up stories I always have it's fun for me and when I got into role playing, it got really fun because man, that really broadens your fucking creativity when you have all of that source material to work with. <clears throat> so I love doing paper and dice games. I like playing them. I love running them. I'm one of those types of people that likes running games. Not many people like running games. I actually enjoy running games. Um, so I. I'm going to start doing the virtual tabletop gaming. It's it's a thing, you know. A lot of people are doing it. So again, call to personality. Um, the first game that I'm going to run <laughs> is gonna be Cyberpunk. <laughs> um, I'm already working on getting the source material for it. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm already investing in this so yes folks this is the direction we're going now this isn't going to be the only content like I said I got documentaries I want to do I want to do jokes and stuff still I still want to do memes and shit and make fun of stuff and I still want to do all of that I'm just not doing politics anymore because it's driving me fucking batty but I really want to run a cyberpunk game. And here's going to be my shtick. This is going to be my hook. Because all the other, you know, like, I, I don't know. I don't, I honestly don't even know if anybody else is doing this. I haven't really gone into the genre that deep. But I've seen other people doing it. And usually what it is, the big ones are always, like, movie stars that are gaming and shit now or actors or whatever comedians and whatnot you know the uh, famous geeks you know like the, they all get together and they run games and you know do gaming stuff and they animate a lot of them and shit like that and you know that's their shtick my shtick is i want to play with you guys i i crowd interaction like that's the backbone of my channel man it's the only reason i think i've got the success i've got so, right, I want to game with you guys. Now, you're going to have to get in the Discord server. Why? Because I need it for the fucking, to be able to talk to you, you know, and run it through the OBS and all that stuff. Right? <clears throat> now, um, how are we doing this? Essentially how it works is, you get in the Discord server, and you tell me, either through a direct message or just fucking just shout me out, hey, I want to hear more about this fucking game. I'm interested. And then I will tell you more about the game. And we'll figure something out. I'm working with you guys. So I'm, I'm getting the source material. You don't need to worry about that. And I'm getting, um, I'm getting a fucking scanner one. Like, I, this this creative boost is really going to bump my production value a lot. So I might not entirely be doing daily videos all the time. Because when I want to do a documentary, 
you know, I might skip a couple of days to work on the documentary. You know what I mean? Because that's going to be a project that's going to take time. And now I'm going to get a little fucking scanner wandy thing. So I have the source books, right? I'm going to be able to do kind of like a thing with this. I'm going to run it through OBS and I'll be able to scan pictures and put it up on the screen and be like, you know, you're here. <laughs> this is what's fucking going on. And I can like do all that stuff. And I think that would be a lot of fun for the people who wish to be involved. You know, I can set them up with, you know, if you want to have a cam of you sitting there doing your thing, whatever. If you just want to be a still picture, we can figure out one for you. And I put that up there and right. And I think that'd be fun. And maybe if somebody has a game idea, you know, run a game that last, I don't know, a couple months or whatever, and then pop to a new game, pick some new people, right? And then run another game, something different. I've got, all oh man, I've got a bookcase full of gaming source books for all manner of different types of games. So, yeah. Like, I can run Cthulhu for people if they want me to. You know what I mean? I've got a bunch of fucking... I've got... I think I have all the source books for Wheel of Time. We could do that. I've got EverQuest. I would really, 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 really like to actually do the fucking EverQuest storyline I came up with. I'd like to actually do it and not have it essentially fall apart and fail the first fucking session. That would be amazing if that if only that could happen. <laughs> and I think without that one do, without those two guys, I without those three guys it would actually fucking be possible. Anyways, you know what I mean? Like I, I got all manner of different stuff. I can make up storylines like that. You know, I I I'm I'm a pretty good GM. So I think that would be fun to do that. I think it would be a blasty blast. Um, and we'll run it for kind of, you know, a storyline, however long it takes. And then, you know, when that kind of storyline ends, we'll go, okay, that's the end of Cyberpunk. Next, we're going to move on to, I don't know, maybe I'll do votes or stuff like that. What do you want to do? This, this, or this? You know, fucking whatever. Um, see what you guys are interested in seeing, you know, stuff like that. Uh, I think that would be fun. And then you guys can get involved and be in on the game. And I can, you know, have more fun hanging out with you guys more often. There isn't going to be like a Patreon cost for this. There isn't going to be a cost for it at all. Like I said, I have all the source books and I'm getting a fucking wandy thing. So I can easily wand character sheets and whenever we're making characters be like yeah here's the fucking book essentially make your character like uh, i'm here to answer questions what do you need <laughs> you know what i mean like i it'd be really fucking easy to do that shit so yeah um i'm thinking about doing that uh, well i mean I'm, I'm gonna do that and hopefully i mean the only problem the only thing standing in the way of me doing this is you guys if absolutely fucking none of you want to take part in this at all, then I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. I guess I'll just fucking make joke videos and stuff like that. Just do whatever the fuck. And that'll just be... <laughs> that'll just be fucking shitty. Whatever. You know, whatever. I'll still have the wanty thing and I can still do documentaries and stuff and other things I want to do. And that'll be fine. But, nevertheless... Um, I already have one guy who said that he would like to kind of take part. Now, who can play? Who wants to? Honestly. If you've never played a role-playing game ever in your life, you can play. Because I, I'm not going to fucking... I'm going to take that into consideration. I'm going to help you a lot. And the people that hopefully else in earn the group will also be willing to help you i i can only imagine <laughs> you know what i mean so yeah if you've never played a game before or if you've been playing all your life you can play i don't care um and i obviously i don't discriminate if 
The guy who created the cyberpunk role-playing game, just so as you know, black dude. And, like, when I found that out, my, my first immediate thought was slightly racist. But whatever. I was like, that dude either A, had no friends whatsoever. And that's why it's so amazingly in-depth and awesome. Because all he did his whole fucking childhood was make this world. Or B, all of his friends were white. Because there's no fucking, like, how... He's a diamond in the rough, man. He's a black dude that's into gaming. I know him and like three other. And only I think two of them I actually know physically in real life. You know what I mean? So <laughs> like it's it's kinda of, I don't care. I don't care. It's none of this shit fucking matters to me. Woman, man, if you're non-binary or whatever the fuck. I don't fucking care. I'll play with anybody. It doesn't matter to me. I'm here to have fun and have a good time. If you're here to fucking shit up and be an asshole, you can't play. It's the, it, it's the only group I discriminate against. Fucking assholes. And if you join and you turn out to be an asshole... You're not allowed to play anymore. I'll find somebody to replace you. Don't be an asshole. We're here to have fun now. We're, at, we're going... Since we were in a golden age economically and politically and all this kind of stuff for the last four years, <laughs> um, and now we're going into a thousand years of darkness, let's, uh, let's start drowning ourselves in the opiate of entertainment and fun. Because... We either laugh or we cry. And I'm, I have no more tears. I am all cried out.